How's it go? Are you okay? Oh, sorry. You're not ready to go? You, you, you good to go? I was making some coffee, so bear with me. Yeah. But, you, um, you, oh, so you're not ready at all then, huh? What exactly uh, did you want to talk about? Like, what was... Yeah, yeah, totally. It's got to be really professional. Better ideas, having a conversation with the Nathaniel Drew. I'm just going to squeeze out some coffee really quick. Here's the rundown. Here's what I was thinking, okay? So I wrote meaningful conversation, how to get more out of life, how to boost uh, yeah. income, um, how to change your life. Because, like, you know, when you put that in the title, it works. Yeah, I mean, this is sort of our bread and butter. I feel like you and I have talked about this shit for, like, three years. So I was wondering if I could slip in something about uh, perfectionism. It's like if you make more videos and not really care about, um, like, getting it to that 95% good. Right. I feel right. like I... That's perfect. Save that for the interview. That's perfect. And that kind of complements this idea I've had, which is that, like, uh, you know... Uh, you okay? Or... Yeah, sorry, it just takes a little bit. Okay, <laughs> no worries. Um, so that kind of complements this idea that I have, which is that the first 50% of a video is the easiest part. You don't need to worry about the second 50%. You could just take that time and do another video. Like, I can I mean, still hear you. you do, do, I can still hear you. Two videos at 50%, it's like you're doing twice as much. You know what I mean? And what I found is the details don't matter that much. That doesn't look amazing. Can you kind of move it a little bit? Like... Like a different... To the right. Like a different angle? Like the, this yeah, way, kind of, maybe? Up. It's the same thing, almost, this way. Yeah, keep, can you keep going, or...? This way? By the way, I was thinking the green shirt's not gonna work at all, dude. What do you want it, like... Because I got an orange couch I'm gonna be sitting on. Do you have orange to match the couch? I think that's a little bit more cinematic. You know, I want it to look like I didn't... There's no planning, no... Okay, what do you think? Good? Dude. You know Vancouver, and you have like people who make fancy coffee. First of all, I think that's like the height of masculinity. I think it'd be cool, like if you're calling me and, I, and I'm like reading um, Plato, like Plato the Republic. Does it blend in too much or? No, no. I, I, I like the kind of camouflage look, the orange camouflage look. Yeah, so like we want to balance like the bro energy with the um, like. Like quirkiness. With the what? Quirkiness, like we, you know, being quirky. Not bro and quirky, but like bro quirky and, but also like Play-Doh. Like we, we're kind of like the I, modern, like Play-Doh or like Seneca. I think what you're describing is like smart quirky bros. Yeah, exactly. I gotta move this ultra bounce. Actually, no, I might use this, this key, this ultra bounce. Do I look um, natural? And like relaxed. Yeah, so what's like the most, did you have your motivation boosted recently? Like what, how did you do that? Compound effect kind of. Yeah, I'm always trying to figure out how the algorithm works better and I think. I'm constantly, I'm, all, I'm always compounding. Like all the time, just compounding. Everything that I do is like compounding on itself. So it's this sort yeah. of snowball effect. Dude, you know? I saw the compound effect on, um, at the bookstore. Okay, so that was a joke. Of course, this would not be a Nathaniel Drew video if there wasn't some sort of deeper message, which is sort of what I'm building towards right now, which is don't take yourself so seriously. That's something that I feel like I've learned a lot about this year. You know, if you look back on some of my older videos from two, three years ago, I was so serious on camera. I think a big part of it was nerves. You know, it's hard to speak naturally on camera and I just did not have that skill yet. But I also just like really wanted people to take my message seriously. Like this is really important to me, you know? And I had the idea to do this kind of parody of myself when I did an interview with Joey from Better Ideas, which is a wonderful channel, by the way. You should check it out if you're interested in self-improvement. And it was a very serious interview, but we spent like a half hour trying to set up, just try to figure things out. And Joey tells me after the fact that he was feeling intense brain fog. No matter what, it'll... Um, be something that is, you know, worthwhile and like life-changing for people. There was something really funny about that and it inspired this idea and so I went for it. Joey was awesome. He was super down for the idea. I told him, play yourself essentially, an exaggerated version of yourself and I will do the same. Now, this is going to be very ironic after establishing sort of the theme of this video, but I really do think there's something spiritual almost about 
being able to laugh at yourself and laugh about things in life. And this is something that I really struggled with for a long time. I mean, I was a very sensitive kid and I would take things very personally. And so it was hard for me to kind of laugh along. It felt like to laugh along meant to be disingenuous and to sort of not be true to myself in order to just laugh along with the group, if that makes sense. I don't quite see things exactly the same way now. What I've realized is that it is a chance to get outside of yourself. And that's been something that I've been thinking about a lot this year, you know? How can I get more outside of myself? Because on so many occasions, I've just gotten really rigid in my thoughts, in my beliefs on who I am, in what is possible, what isn't possible, how things should be, essentially. It's just weird how we can solidify on our beliefs on how things should be. And humor is one way to circumvent that. Similar to this idea I have on how everything in life is just a series of experiments. And before I go deeper into this video, I wanted to talk about the sponsor of this video, which offers another way to circumvent something that can be challenging for a lot of people, myself included, which is behavior change. It's called Fabulous, and it's the number one self-help app that helps you build habits and achieve your goals. If you are seriously looking for ways to create change in your life, this app is worth looking into. It's beautifully designed, and like I said, it's built on behavioral science. In all honesty, I have fallen a little bit out of the habit of meditating with all of the holiday craziness, and it has been very helpful in getting me back on track with little reminders. It's 100% personalized, and it works in two different ways. The first is the guided method, which offers guidance in the form of what they call journeys, which are behavior change programs. And it breaks down the process of building new habits in really easy to follow steps that build up progressively. And then there is the self-guided mode, which I personally prefer. A lot of thought went into building this app, so if you're interested, you can start building your ideal habits. The first 500 people that click on the link in my description will get 25% off a Fabulous subscription. Thank you to Fabulous for supporting my work. All right, back to the video. I like how I provided zero context on where I am right now. <laughs> it's going to make sense in a future video. Part of what makes all of this so funny to me, and I think a lot of people find this really funny, is that the truth is I really am very serious and very earnest about my search for answers in life. You know, and that's not gonna change. I mean, I'm gonna, I'm gonna really take things pretty seriously sometimes. And having a sense of humor doesn't necessarily detract from that, I don't think. But what's amazing about humor, having a sense of humor about yourself, being able to make fun of yourself, is the space that it creates. It shows the ability to have a level of self-awareness, I think. I also think it illustrates the ability to not be so worried about what other people think. And the truth is I was more afraid about what people thought of me on the internet in the past than I do today. It's sort of been a learning process, if you will. Anyway, I was cracking up doing this interview, this interview with him putting really like meaningful piano music. <laughs> oh God. There was absolutely no script. In fact, there's no script right now. There was just something so funny to me about how we were trying to figure out what the hell we were doing, fidgeting with the camera, worrying about how good things looked, and then of course, always with the pretext that, oh, this is, you know, relatable and authentic and it's supposed to be off the cuff. It's tricky being a YouTuber, man. Most YouTubers start off building an audience by being very relatable. And then of course, if they start achieving a level of like commercial success, then their situation changes. A lot of the original relatability sort of goes away. Does that mean that all successful YouTubers are not relatable people? I don't think so. I actually don't think that. And that's because I think it's a little bit more subtle than that. The relatability doesn't really come from the number of followers. A lot of celebrities out there strike me as very phony, very fake, but there are some that I generally feel some sort of connection to, whether that sounds weird or not. Very famous people that still seem to have a level of humility and relatability. And I think that maintained relatability, despite the level of success, comes from humility, comes from having a sense of humor, comes from just not taking things too seriously, I feel like. I thought that this would be a great way to end the year. And there's something else too, which is that, you know, if you follow my work and you like the things that I'm doing, it's likely that you have a shared interest in these sorts of like deeper topics, right? Like what is the meaning of life? What are we doing here? What are we all supposed to be working towards? What is progress? What is productivity really for, et cetera, et cetera. My hope is to show that it's possible to earnestly ask those questions but also sort of laugh about things along the way. In fact, I really think that's the only way you can kind of get through life without being an absolute cynic. Because look, the truth is, the world is a crazy place that does not make a lot of sense most of the time. That's kind of the conclusion I've come to. You know, I've gone through my existential phases, certainly with everything that has happened over the last couple of years, even prior to pandemic days, the world did not make a ton of sense to me. For a long time, that would weigh me down. I'd be like, oh my goodness, what am I supposed to do about this? 
How am I supposed to make sense of things? I think a part of maturing, a part of becoming an adult, and a part of the spiritual journey, I suppose, is embracing the complexities of life, is further opening yourself up to the nuances and subtleties that are inherent in the human experience. You know, things are not black and white. There's a comfort in easy answers, but I'm feeling less drawn to those easy answers as time goes on because I know that that's not really how life works. The thing that I keep realizing over and over and over again over the years, and this by the way would be advice that I would give any aspiring content creator out there, is that people ultimately end up really coming back not for you know the level of production quality. I feel like many of you guys, if I'm not mistaken, come back to this channel over and over again because you kind of get the sense that you sort of know me a little bit, right? Because hopefully I'm doing a decent job of honestly sharing who I am. And I'm 100% the same way. You know, there's absolutely people that I follow on the internet that I've never met in person, but that I just like their personality or I find them inspiring or, it, you know, it's just fun what they create. And so I just keep coming back for that. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope the first portion gave you a little laugh. I really had fun playing myself as a character. <laughs> 2022, let's see what happens, you know? I'm not going in with any expectations, but I'm excited regardless. Adventures await, they always do. Please consider giving this video a like so that it can reach more people and subscribe if you haven't. I don't really ask for those things very often, but I feel like maybe I could from time to time. And I hope to see all of you very soon.